Strapped to a gurney, death row inmate Donald Dilbeck saves his last words for DeSantis. Donald Dilbeck didn't mince words in the minutes before the state executed him Thursday night. I know I hurt people when I was young. I really messed up, Dilbeck, 59, said, strapped to a gurney in the Florida state prison death chamber. But I know Ron DeSantis has done a lot worse. He's taken a lot from a lot of people. I speak for all men, women and children. He's put his foot on our necks. Then, at 6.02 p.m., Florida Department of Corrections workers began to administer the first of three drugs to sedate him, paralyze him, and stop his heart. He was pronounced dead 11 minutes later, at 6.13 p.m. In the witness gallery, family members of Faye Lam Van, who Dilbeck stabbed to death in 1990, looked on with stony expressions. They opted not to speak to reporters afterward. DeSantis signed Dilbeck's death warrant exactly a month ago, on January 23. When asked why Dilbeck, a spokesman pointed to the details of the crime. The COVID-19 pandemic and state emergencies, like hurricanes, contributed to the years-long gap in executions, the spokesman said. However, opponents of the death penalty believe politics, and DeSantis' widely expected run for president, also played a role. The same day DeSantis signed Dilbeck's warrant, he floated the idea to lower the jury threshold to recommend a death sentence from unanimity, which is required by current state law, to 8 to 4. About a week later, Republican lawmakers filed a pair of bills that would make that change and also allow a judge to override a jury's recommendation for life in prison and sentence death instead. 